on the road? And then how have you mentally prepared for these three games on uh, the road? The mood in practice has just been like it always is. Mm -hmm. um, it's intense. You know, Coach Carlisle is, you know, very detail oriented, which is good for us since we have a young group. And uh, yeah, we've been just trying to tighten the screws up. And uh, personally, I just prepared myself because I got some some tough matchups, and uh, I think that that our team uh, we can score we can score at anybody, but if we get stops, I think we give ourselves a great chance. So uh, I'm just trying to prepare myself for being an anchor for our defense, uh, whether it's physically or, or vocally. Callie Kaplan, go ahead. Hey Josh, thanks for your time. Uh, you had mentioned a little while ago that you and Luca seem to have really good chemistry off the court in terms of being goofy and having fun with each other. I'm curious, what are some of the best stories or best moments or you know fun memories you've had of these past couple of weeks getting to gel with him both on and off the court? Uh, I'd probably just say how much we can talk soccer. Um, you know, English isn't his first language, so it's it's always like you never know when when guys aren't or how comfortable guys are with you. But, you know, when we get to talking about soccer, it's just like bumping back and forth. But uh, even on the court, like between plays or like when we're just shooting around, you know, it's always just just goofy. But, you know, when we're when we're tightening things up and, and knowing when it's time to lock in, then it's, that is good that we can, can do that also. Mark Fowler, go ahead. Josh, good afternoon. Um, I know that this is a unique beginning to the season relative to the past, or, or, or maybe it isn't. I guess that's kind of my question. How are you preparing yourself for maybe the first five to ten games of the season being different than the than a normal season and, and what those first five to ten games look like? I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of approaching it like any other season. Um, it's not like we're going to a bubble again, so that's probably the most different season that we'll ever see. So, I mean, honestly, we're, we're traveling tomorrow like a regular game, like a regular season. So I'm just keeping it in that in that aspect. Like I'm just keeping it right there, treating it normally and uh, not overthinking it. Chuck Cooperstein, go ahead. Josh, um, one of the reasons that the Mavericks really wanted to bring you in was to play against people like Devin Booker. <laughs> who has certainly had more than his share of uh, monster games against Dallas. Uh, what's been your history playing against him? What, and, and ultimately, uh, what are the challenges of playing against him? What are you, what are you most trying to take away from him? Um, well, first of all, a guy like Book, you know, nobody's really going to stop him. Nobody's going to shut him down. He's going to get to his spots. He's going to do what he does. But I mean, you can only kind of hope to contain him and kind of kind of hold his momentum down. But um, I mean, we came in the same draft class, so I played against him once or twice a year since like since we got in the league. But uh, I know how talented he is. I know you know that he's very aggressive. So I mean, honestly, I'm gonna just try to try to slow him down in the spots that I can, and uh, I mean, just 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 play solid for our team everywhere else. Okay, Brad Townsend. Yeah, hey, Josh. Uh, first of all, thanks again for letting a few of us uh, eavesdrop uh, on the taps uh, here the other night. It was very, very moving. We appreciate it. Yeah, uh, uh, piggybacking off of uh, Chuck's question, uh, you've been in the Eastern Conference your whole career, and now you're in the Western Conference. And, you know, along with Devin Booker, you're going to be, you know, seeing more games against a, a bunch of guys. I wondered if how much you've prepared mentally for that? And do you think that's going to be more of a challenge uh, just playing, being in the Western Conference? Um, I mean, both both conferences present different challenges. Um, so I've been, been in the East the last few years and it's it's very physical and it's, it's different. And there's uh, its own crop of stars over there. But, um, you know, the West, there's never a night off. So that's how I'm approaching it. I'm approaching it like every game is you know, make or break. And I feel like that's how, that's kind of how our team should approach things. Just a few more, Tim McMahon, go ahead. Hey Josh, you mentioned to us uh, meeting Luca when he was 16, playing pick a ball and, and knowing then that he was a, a number one overall pick type of talent. What did you see uh, during those games at P3 that, that convinced you that he was that type of talent? Um, well, just his size, first of all, um, he walked in the gym into the weight room that morning 
and you know, I never heard of him. I never seen him, but uh, I mean, I saw his, his body, how he's built, and they told me he was 16, and I was like, no way. And then uh, I saw him in the gym working out, like he was in there working out after me, so he was kind of watching me. And then I watched him when I was getting dressed, and I was just seeing how he shot, how everything looked. And then when we were playing, it was just like his pace, because it's 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 hard to teach that, especially on a kid that was already six six at 16 and he was like 200 and however many pounds it's just it's rare that you see something like that like he shot he shot a few step backs he shot a few made a, a few good passes and I was just like he's got it like he's he's got it all right next we'll go to Dwayne Rankin there's two more for you Dwayne go ahead Dwayne asking you to unmute Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Josh, I was uh, going to ask a follow up about uh, the Suns. Um, they have obviously some new additions, Chris Paul, uh, Jay Crowder. Uh, when you look at that roster overall, I know Devin obviously presents a challenge, but what other challenges uh, you guys see in them? And how much are you just personally just looking forward to playing again, you know, playing, playing in the opener? It's always an exciting thing, obviously, and being in the round Christmas time. Uh, yeah, so the Suns are a good team, man. You know, they got, you got Crowder, who is a, a great vet, who does his job well. He defends, he makes shots. They got Book, who is a, one of the best scorers in the NBA. They got CP, who was playing at a at MVP level last season. So that, that presents new challenges. They got Bridges, who can who can switch and guard anyone, and, and Aiden in the paint, who is who was turned into a beast. So they, they, they got a, a solid team that they can throw out there, and they got good bench pieces. But... Um, I feel like if we can just slow them down and transition, kind of make it a half court game for them and, and, and get physical and make their buckets tough, I think we give ourselves a better chance than if we just try to track meet it the whole game. And last question, Eddie Sefko. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris Paul, is, he's bounced around a little bit, but everywhere he's gone, he's made the playoffs, made the team better. What exactly uh, does he do that, that makes – it seems to make everybody else around him uh, better. Um, okay, so I know CP a little bit, and I know the I know the type of guy he is, and I know he's very intense, and I know he's very like no BS kind of guy. So I, I understand how some people might not appreciate that, how he might not mess with everybody, but for those who who are intense and aggressive like he is, you know, it can be a match made in heaven, and I know that. You know, Book and those guys in Phoenix are hungry. So I think that that CP can be a perfect bet for them. But uh, yeah, I mean, he, he gets to his spots. He he runs a team. He's a floor general and he, he does his homework. You know, when I play against him, I can always see him guarding our point guards or if he's guarding me, when we call a play, he's echoing it out and calling it in their terms. You know what I'm saying? It's, he's a guy who just knows the game very well. So um, I think he's, 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 he's up for another another good season with them. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Yeah.